so you find yourself in the spot where you've got a fresh MK3. You're feeling like the champ. You're feeling like the man. You feel like you can take on the world, but there's only one thing you can't do. Figure out how to get sound out of this. Today, I'm gonna show you how to set up your Machine MK3 as an audio interface. Now, certain things are gonna be different because we don't have the same system. I'm using a Windows 10 machine, so you might be using a Mac. So I'm gonna skip everything about drivers and whatnot. You can find that on Native Instruments website. Um, I'll leave a link in the below, you know, down below possibly, but uh, maybe not, you know. But this is just gonna be the basic setup of things, right? So this is what you're gonna need in order to accomplish this. So you got your Machine MK3, the provided USB cable, and some cables to set them up with your monitors, right? I'm gonna be using quarter inch to XLR connectors because my speakers can take either XLR or quarter inch. Yours probably do too, so pick whichever one you like more. I decided for the XLR because I like the security. I like the way it locks in, like an American. Alternatively, you can just plug in some headphones if you don't have any monitors. Just make sure to have one of these fat boys on there, otherwise it's not gonna fit and you're gonna be disappointed, right? Okay. So after you've downloaded all necessary drivers that you need from the Native Instruments website, we can go ahead and start plugging this bad boy in. A little pro tip, don't throw away your zip ties. When you get cables, you know, even bread ties and stuff, these are valuable cable management tools. Valuable. They may seem cheap and like nothing, but when you have none of these and more cables than you know what to do with, these are a lifesaver. So, we want to plug this end, USB whatever, into the back end of the machine. I'm gonna plug it right in there, right? Right. right. Bring the machine back down. Yes. Then you're gonna plug the USB A type into a USB port on your computer. If you're on one of the newer Macs, you know, enjoy getting a you know a couple dongles to get this accomplished. <laughs> Window superiority, uh, but yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into this, uh, you know, janky J5 Create uh, USB hub that I have here. Um, if you're using a USB hub, make sure that it has some kind of power supply, because otherwise, it, it's probably gonna underpower your, you know, machine or whatever. This one has a nice power adapter, but let's not worry about that now. So now we're all plugged in. We can turn this bad boy on. But you know what's gonna happen? Still no sound. We don't want that. We want all of the sound. Correct correct right so let's go ahead and okay we're gonna go ahead and bring this guy back up and then you'll notice these line outputs right here that's where we're gonna take our quarter inch to XLR cable or quarter inch to quarter inch cable and we're gonna plug it into the relevant output and then into the back of your chosen speakers right that's all it takes. And likewise, like I said, get you some headphones with a fat boy like this, and you can use the headphone port. But we're not going to be doing that right now. So changing focus for a second, I'm going to show you exactly how to plug these in to the back of your speakers, right? Let's go ahead and get my, uh, my monitors, my JBL 305s up in here. And on the back, you'll notice, if you can see, that there's an XLR port and a quarter inch port. Just take this guy right here with these three pins, match that up, and lock it on in. You'll feel a nice little sinking feeling when you get it in there. Almost like, you know, the sinking feeling I have every day because of my anxiety. So now that our connections have been established and we're swimming in a sea of cables, we want to turn this guy on, right? And there should be a power button right over here to the back left. Turn that on. And you'll notice it's working when all the lights flash and you can see it's saying machine stuff. Okay, so this is not supposed to be happening. It's pulling up a template. So we're just going to go ahead and get rid of that, right? Because this is what you're going to be seeing, more than likely. So once you get to this spot, you should be able to, on your respective machine, whether, you know, Mac, PC, whatever. You should be able to choose this as your sound device for your computer, and then this will now be your new sound card. In order to uh, change the volumes and everything like that, again, right here on the back, you've got your line out volume level, which is probably upside down for you guys, but it's gonna be to either the left or right, depending on how you look at it, from your line outs right there. And you can just turn that guy up till you got a nice, respectable sound, right? And that's pretty much it. 
so yeah if you guys have any questions feel free to ask in the comments but uh, that's pretty much all you need to know if you have any further specifics on how it works you know you can go ahead and just go to Native Instruments website and read about it like I did so yeah so I'll catch you guys you know later or something peace